Hey guys, this is Mark with the DisasterZone.us. Today is June 2nd, 2014. This is your daily tropical update. And you're taking a look at a live Western Atlantic avian color infrared loop radar from the DisasterZone.us. This radar is showing our Invest 93E and the storm system we've been tracking in the Gulf. The Invest 93E is actually doing pretty well today and could actually turn into a tropical cyclone versus a tropical depression. And in this storm system out here in the Gulf of Mexico is actually looking uh, less than what we thought. In fact, it's going to be less than 10% chance of becoming a tropical depression. So that's something that we're watching. Now this wave of shower thunderstorm activity you see here in the Gulf is actually producing a lot of shower thunderstorm activity going into some parts of Florida. And that's something Florida may need to actually keep an eye on. So let's go ahead and scroll up here on the disasterzone.us and take a look at our actual storm system here that we're actually watching in the eastern Pacific. If we click on that information, it'll actually show you what's going on here. It says shower and thunderstorm is associated with the low pressure area located about 275 miles south uh, southeast of Salina Cruz, Mexico, have become a little bit organized overnight and early this morning. Environmental conditions appear conducive for further development and a tropical cyclone can form later today or Tuesday while the low moves slowly northwestward to northward. So regardless of tropical uh, updates, it shows here that this storm system can produce heavy rainfall, rainfall in parts of Mexico causing possible landslides and this is life threatening so people in Mexico need to keep a very close eye on the storm system. So going back to the disaster zone.us, let's scroll down a little bit further and we'll see the update for the Eastern Pacific, if we click on that, even though it says no tropical storms, if you click on it, it'll take you straight to it. So the stationary throw of low pressure interacting with a large upper level low is producing widespread cloudiness and disorganized showers over much of the half of Gulf of Mexico and across the Yucatan Peninsula. Environmental conditions are expected to remain unfavorable for development of the system as it moves a little this week so not much in fact it's dropped down to a 10 percent chance and i'll continue to keep you posted and updated on any changes of that source so this is your daily tropical update i'll continue to do daily tropical updates if there is a chance of anything occurring either in eastern pacific or the gulf of mexico so once again folks stay alert on this one in the eastern pacific i'll continue to keep you updated again i want to thank everybody for watching stay alert be cool and have a nice day